Hi guys, Melissa Fumero here to talk to you about Jake and Amy's baby journey from my garage. The infertility storyline started percolating early season six. I got a text from Dan Gore one day that said something like, don't think about it too hard, just answer quickly, do you think Amy wants to have kids or yes or no? And I wrote, yes. I think she wants to have it all. I think she wants to be captain. I think she wants to have kids and have the whole thing. And then I said, but I don't think it should come easily to her because she's so this type A, always trying to control everything type of character. And this is the one thing that she can't study for and the one thing that she really can't control. So I always think that it's interesting to put her in those circumstances to see her be uncomfortable. And it also, I think, is when she is the funniest sometimes. When we were doing that episode, I actually had some close friends in my real life dealing with fertility struggles and miscarriage. My empathy for them and my empathy for Amy, the character going through it, made it easy to tap into those emotions. This is the hardest thing for this for this character to go through because there's nothing she can do to fix it except just keep trying. But I thought the episode came out really well and I really strong and I was really proud of it. And then to see the response on social media be overwhelmingly positive and for so many people to feel seen and to say thank you for shedding light on this and telling it in an honest way. I was really proud of us because we really wanted to get it right. We cared a lot about telling that story and being sensitive and also hopefully infusing some kind of joy or fun in part of it, but not making light of it. The advice I would give Jake and Amy about raising boys is anything you care about that's like breakable, you wanna put in an inaccessible area for at least 10 years? I've heard 12, I don't know. I'm, in my real life, I'm only at year four. There's nothing breakable at about like a three to four feet level and lower. Everything's gotta be like above four or five feet if you care about it at all. And we all know Amy's got a lot of sort of glass and figurines kind of happening in her apartment. So she's gonna have to assess that situation real quick.